been good throughout the year. I've, I've been able to, to stay lime free pretty much, no flare ups. Like I always talk about my healthy lifestyle choices have paid off this year. I think that's a true sign to my play, to how I've competed, how I've been able to win Ledgestone and be in contention at a lot of other events. It's something where it's second nature now. It's not like I'm feeling like I'm missing out on certain foods or anything like that. I think it's kind of just ingrained in me now and I think it's uh, for the better, not just for the Lyme, but just for lifestyle in general. You know, with Idlewild, they had a great performance. Deglo had a great performance. I think I lost by one stroke at Deglo, and I was just right there, so close at a lot of events, and then went into Ledgestone with with a lot of confidence. And as you know, if I have confidence, it's uh, it's game on for me. So I had I had the confidence going in that I felt like I could win, and I do most almost every tournament, but especially that week. And I just went out and dominated, and I think I won by eight strokes. So I think it was just the mindset going in. If I can keep my, my mental game at a high level, then my physical abilities will follow. Yeah, I mean, the, the pig, everyone's loving the pigs. I know that. Where's the new pig? Yeah. Come on, show it off. Yeah. So there's my 2019 or 2020s. I've got two of these. This one's slightly broken and you'll see me throwing this. And then this is the purple one, brand new. And then I've got a glow one, team. This is a 2020, but it just has a team stamp on it. And so I've got three in the bag. I've got. I think believe five pigs total in the bag. <laughs> and I will be throwing those a lot this week at Winthrop. A lot of uh, the controlled layup shots to, that are into tight greens. A lot of the par fours, I'm setting myself up for a long drive and then I'm hoping to get a pig upshot into the basket. If I have a pig in my hand, I've, I'm really comfortable, whether it's sidearm or backhand. It just, it, uh, it, it really fits well in my hand and I feel really consistent that I can and feel like I can get it close every time and uh, that these things are awesome. And they're glow. They have, <laughs> they, it's all amazing that you can have purple and blue and have them glow. So that's really cool if you're into glow golf. It's definitely a nice luxury to have a little, uh, little glow action going on sometimes. Uh, a lot of tournaments nowadays, there's a lot of players that are good. So you, you're very rarely are you gonna win by eight or 10 strokes like I did at Ledgestone. That's pretty uncharacteristic if I must say. Uh, I think that you know I can win that way. I can win in a battle. I can win from behind. I think there's a lot of ways for me to win, and I think that's why if I'm winning or within four or five strokes in the, in the coming into the final day, I feel like I have a good chance to win. Definitely gives me a little bit of extra motivation. I got to make up for for lost time, like I like I didn't get to play last year. So I think that for me, in the back of my head, that's like that's why I'm going into this tournament feeling is like, all right, you didn't get the chance to even compete in that last year. Let's let's make up for it this year and really and really make it count. So I think that for me, it's it's just coming back out here and just enjoying this this place, the, the prestige of the event, the feeling that you get uh, every day coming out here, you just feel like a true professional. And I think that that's something that, that really translates for me on the course. And that's why I've had a lot of great finishes out here. And uh, I'm looking to uh, have another one and hopefully get another win. Yeah, so my parents used to live in Fort Mill, which is like the city over basically from Rock Hill. Uh, and so it definitely has a home course type of feel for me, being in the sa similar city to where I used to live, same state. I think a lot of people in this state of South Carolina really get behind me because I'm from here. No fans or followers this year, but uh, I know I'm still gonna be feeling that energy from afar. The front nine, I would say, is the easier of the nines, I think that uh, not that any holes are easy out here. You have to focus and execute on every shot. Uh, you can say that about any course, but especially out here. And uh, eight, nine, 10, I think those holes are really important. The middle stretch of the course, uh, you, can, you can get an eagle on nine if you're attacking the green. And then 10, it can be a really tricky par four. So those are, those are, those are holes that can, you know, you can gain or lose three to four strokes pretty quickly if you're not careful. I'm really making sure that I'm cautious when I need to be on those holes if the conditions uh, call for it and that I can be aggressive when I need to. And that's the biggest thing out here at Winthrop is having a game plan. Uh, when, when, you, when to be safe, when to be aggressive. If there's wind, you go with the safe play. If there's no wind, maybe you can go with the aggressive play depending on the situation. And it's a lot, of, a lot about situational uh, course management out here. For me, it would, you know, it just means so much with the catching the Lyme disease and all the hurdles I've had to jump through. At one point, I was sitting on the couch not knowing I can even maybe ever play disc golf again. Now, jumping a year forward to where I'm healthy, I'm everything's good. You know, all my games coming along, and I feel like I can really win. I feel like I can go out here and win wire to wire.